guys, my name is Tess Bodie and I'm on the women's soccer team at Duke University. I hope you guys are all staying healthy right now and staying safe. Um, and in the meantime, we're going to be reading you guys some of our favorite books. Um, growing up, I loved Where the Wild Things Are, so um, here we go. <clears throat> the night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another. His mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to his room without eating anything. That very night, Max's room, a forest grew. And grew. And grew with his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through the night and all day. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still, and tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once, and they were frightened and all called him the most wild thing of all. <clears throat> and they made him the king of all the wild kings. And now, cried Max, let the wild runnings, let the wild run up start. Now stop, Max said and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all the wild kings, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around from far across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up, we'll love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. <clears throat> and he sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. And into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. Bye, guys.